all right folks let's uh demarcate this cabinet let's segment it if you want to do that uh, one of the ways to do it is to come to uh, ground floor where you started from make sure that you're able to select the walls okay which is in creating them so what you what i would do is i'll come here offset i'll offset this to a given distance say for instance 500 now i haven't done that if you check it in three i'll do this again i'll do this on two 500 but if you check it in 3d you will not see any difference except when you select uh this you can just see the see through the shadow through the sorry transparency so what i'll now do is i'll come back to the ground now i need to i'll cut this here i'll cut this somewhere around here i'll do the same thing here very important now i'll come to offset i'll set this one at a distance of uh, 10 or well, let me use 20 20 and i'll set it to come inside like this i'll set this one come inside like this too now the idea is for me to i'll use this trim i want to do I, I, I want to separate this this and this uh, so this and this can go here okay so there'll be gap here i'll do the same thing here i want to make sure that there's gap here to complain do the same thing here on join now the idea is i've created this box to be different from this to be different from this so let's check it in 3d so you can see that has been divided but you can as well make them still a little bit close because it's looking like it's a little bit too open by coming to floor then select this then make it closer a little with your arrow key then use this one do the same thing here so let's check so you can just uh play with it then another thing i can do is uh i've already taught you how to add the handle <coughs> the way you created the, the handle for the tv stand that's the same way you create handle i'm not going to dwell on that so i don't waste so much of your time the next thing like I want to demarcate uh, this one. Let's assume. Uh, okay, let's assume there's a there's a glass somewhere here. This is transparent. So what I'll do is I'll select uh, this one now. I can come to like this and just bring it down a little to the distance. Remove constraints. Now you can see, uh, I'll finish it up. What will happen is that that place is not like this glass, it's just that there's nothing, but I can put glass there. How do I do that? I'll just come to this point here where I have it. I'll draw another one, I'll draw another wall on top here, which I'll work on later to complain, but there's no problem. And then I'll come to 3D and select, make sure it's selected bring it up to this point then select it from this side bring it down then the only thing what i'll do is that i'll just change the material of this to glass material by coming to material So look for a glass material somewhere around let's see this default glazing if it's gonna work yeah i think it did work oh, let's see someone else i mean something else you can use this uh, the reason why you're having inside show like this is because of the color of so let's select let's paint this side come here let's look for a wooden floor paint inside with wood material okay. 
careful so you don't select the wrong thing another thing i can do if, if i can okay i think i've been able to select it good so you can see inside now then this wall is showing in order to remove that come to this side you add a have to draw another wall that will be inside so the cabinet is separated from such that the cabinet is separated from the wall now this is not well done select it i'll do it again make sure that it's inside so let's check it you can see the height what i'll do now is that i can just come to this point select match property select this and select this so automatically they share uh, the same property so folks that's how to do it how to demarcate your cabinets in the kitchen